Now there are going to be times when unfortunately we have to lift objects all by ourselves. We call this a single person lift. Let's look at moving a box on our own. First, think before moving it and plan before the lift. Can any lift devices be used? Can a truck dolly or a two-wheel dolly be used? Do we need assistance in moving the load? Because the object is just too heavy and regardless of the good techniques we use, it's too heavy for us to lift safely. Is the pathway clear where we're going to carry the load? If it's a long trip, is there a place to rest when we get fatigued? Are any doors that are closed needed to be opened so that we don't have to shift the weight and go off our center of gravity? Now after we've planned the lifting and moving of the object, it's important to use proper lifting techniques to lift and lower the object. To lift the object, move the load as close to your body as possible. We call this keeping the load close. Keep your feet approximately shoulder width apart whenever possible to maximize your powerful lifting muscles in your legs. Keep one foot forward to maintain balance. Not too far, just enough to keep the balance. With your head looking up to the ceiling and your back as straight as can be, we use our legs to lift the object. And after we stand, let us reevaluate the weight to make sure we still can maintain this weight properly without causing harm to ourselves and keep the load close to our body so as to adopt the weight as our own weight. Take small and secure steps while carrying the object and make sure you can see the pathway as you walk. Then after we reach our destination, remember to use those same proper lifting techniques to lower the object to the destination. Lower the object in a similar manner that we picked it up with and after placing the object down, ensure that it's secure, still balanced, and everyone's safe.